Oh, he got me. He's low. Got him. I'm gonna pee. I got two. I think I got two portables as well. If you want to carry one. Yeah, I can carry. I can carry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bombed them over there, dude. Okay, I'll push it then. Hey, right here. Knocked. 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 Knock. knock, knock. knock. We sent. We sent. Oh, I got another knock. They're two dead. Another one dead right here. Oh, oh, PAP to water tower, Raider. What? Knocked down water tower. I'm getting looked at from the right, Bo. I'm getting looked at from the right. Knocked him. Got the finish. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you, thank you. Guys, we're popping off! Right up here. Down to 10. Win this thing. Nice. Team wipe, team, team wipe, team, team wipe. wipe. Yo, what's up, guys? Happy Friday. Thanks for clicking on the video. If you're not subscribed, su subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm going to be making some more videos like this. I don't know how long this series is going to go for. Probably a while. You know what I'm saying? Because we've been on a, like a mega war zone grind lately. But guys, don't forget to like the video. And uh, in this video, I was popping off with the sniper in the first game. There's two wins in this game. The first one is with me, Bo, and Raider. We've been practicing a lot lately and um, getting our teamwork and our synergy down pat. You know, uh, we we played really, really good that, that first game in, in here, dude. We've had, you know, a lot of games go up and down. But, you know, we learn from our mistakes and we keep it going. You know, we don't we don't let it get to us, dude. Yeah, we might get pissed in the moment, but, dude, we're just going to run another game and just focus up on the next game. You know what I'm saying? Keep it moving. Um, in the second game, uh, it was played later on at night. It was with me, Bo, and Keon. And uh, we did really, really good in that game, too. Bo, Bo had really, really good rotations and some really, really good plays and led us to the win. Bo's becoming a very, very great IGL. So, you know... Like, when, when we don't know what, when he doesn't know what to do, then he just asks us in the game or something like that, you know. Or we all come up with a plan together, like, really, really quickly. Because, like, we're just so on point, you know what I'm saying? But, let's get to the video, guys. Yeah, but we don't have to do Alright, guys, time. welcome to Breakdown the Warzone win, episode 8. We decided to land industry. We normally don't, like, go here. But we were going here for the bounty because, you know, contracts give you your money a little bit quicker. Wait, where did you want to go after this? We always, you know, grab the load out through the ceiling right here. Whenever, if we go here, you know, I was having trouble getting that bitch. Yeah, I'm down to go bio. I'm following. Then we decided to push over to bio. We usually throw portable radar and then push to bio. But we noticed this was unlooted, so, like, we were trying to take all the money from here. We go to the buy box in the back, start buying stuff. This team randomly just like flies in, like these two people. So we just beam them up out of the air. Been really, really enjoying the striker build I've been using, guys. I can put the build at the end of the video. I think I changed it up a little bit. I got high velocity rounds on it now. Just for a little bit more range, that's all. And I'm not using the cat AMR anymore, I'm using the Moors. The cat AMR was fun to use, and so was the Stalker, but I just think the Moors is really good for, like, you know, quicker, like, quicker shots. I ended up getting knocked right here. I mean, kind of, like, stupid play. I should have went, like, underneath the, um, cover. Trying to land for loadout, but you remember other teams' loadouts are there too, so like you might have to get challenged or people like uh, might camp the loadout. So like you're gonna have to fight like one or two guys, or sometimes not fight anybody, like that situation. So much loot on the ground right here, dude. Bo ends up getting a knock right outside the, of um, this building. Bo calls out a good oh, rotation, so we decide to go idea. with his really, plan. Really a very, very good portable radar by Bo. Oh, yeah, right outside, the street. We know they're all across the street. We can see them on our map. Guys, check your map often. Like every like seven to ten seconds, honestly. Maybe even like four if you really, really want to know what's going on. For just fast information, you know what I'm saying? 
I should have probably backed bow up a little bit better in that fight, but I still got the guy. But you know, it, I like my teammates dying with loadout, dude. And nobody likes dying with their loadout. It's like the worst. So like me and Raider was split, so like I had to you know go back up top. Be careful being on the roof of industry. It's sketchy because there's not that much cover. That's why I like to sit like second level or like inside the building. This is a bad smoke. I should have threw it a little bit closer. This guy's trying to land for loadout. Raiders pressuring him a little bit, and I'm pressuring. I push up just to work the angle, get him. I got him, Raider. I got him. Throw the thermite at him just to get the kill. Yep, yep, yep. I'm right above me. I'm going third floor. I thought they were up above, but they they floated down to that like little um third floor clear. Like the purple like uh glider thing. I forgot what it's called. Can we meet up on stairs? Yeah, their whole team is like fighting a team right there on the map right now. I can yeah, see. I'll push outside stairs. But we were assuming they were up here, but they weren't. We ended up getting that scav, and look at we have like so much money. We bought a lot of UAVs, guys, and a lot of portable radars this game, and it really, really helped out. Ended up getting this finished because I didn't want them to res their teammate. Mortar, mortar, mortar. Watch out. There's a mortar. Always call out the mortars and the PAs because sometimes they be glitched on your oh, teammate's geez. screen. Oh, so you gotta, you know, make sure all your teammates are aware and know what's going on. Well, I'm not with you. I'm not with you. So Raiders split over there and Bow's yep. over there, but Raider, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, yep, I'm gonna try to make a play to come to, come to Bow. I tell him to jump down, trying to like lure this guy in. If they chase Bow, Raider, ra Raider wraps around and meets us up in the room. No, they're not. They're not. Or no, he's on the roof, and then he's gonna he's gonna jump down and come in. He went down. Yep. Started pressuring this guy a little bit. I was a little bit late to this fight, but you know, I think we ended up like killing two of them, but the last guy like ran away. I was just trying to get my teammate out right here. My own thermite freaking wrecking me. Gas mask on me, guys. Ammo box going down now because I need smokes. So we're playing like the edge of zone. Right here, we just got a bunch of UAVs. We still have 20k left. Raider had like 13,000 right there. Guy, I hold one. I hold one. Look at he's just buying a shit ton of UAVs uh, during fire sale. Remember, fire sale is third circle 106. Keep that in mind. Sometimes it's kind of hard to remember if you're in so many gunfights, but it's really useful if you got over 10k, dude. Not be scared to buy UAVs and get aggressive, because that's what we did here. We got a, we put like four UAVs up, and I started trying to find this guy. Like I centered him in the middle, and I knew he was in the corner because my radar. I was hoping that guy would jump down, but he he knew not to because he was gonna be like insta dead. So we're playing the bottom of this industry right now, and we can see that there's a team to the right over there by that buy box. I started zooming over in. Here, over here. Missed that shot. Hit that guy. This guy hits me, so I decided to take cover and Guys, reload right and play it up. By the ammo thing, right by Don't be scared to disengage from fights. You're not gonna like win every gunfight or do good in every gunfight. You know, you just gotta play by ear. That was that was kind of risky, but I managed to get it off anyways. Bo gives me a portable radar. Now I'm just trying to work this angle a little bit. This was a great headshot. The, the cod timing of it was amazing. Get another knock. This guy ends up getting up, but we we knock him again. Now we know there's one guy here, we can't find him. I think he was at the very top. I'm pretty sure he was at the very top. Cause Bo just called it out, but we can't find him at all. So me and Bo both throw our portables at the same time. I end up jumping out challenging him. That jump helped me out a lot, dude. Almost knocked that guy, hit a good body shot on him. Cause our portable like kind of like called it out. And, and, and stole some smokes and tap smokes. Always stole your smokes and hit these ammo boxes, guys. It's good to carry like at least four to six smokes, like when you're like top ten. 
You know what I'm saying? So that way you can like smoke a teammate if you get knocked, get a res off. You know what I'm saying? Rotate good. Get to some high ground. Like smokes help out a lot, dude. Raider calls out this guy water tower. I ended up getting a knock on him. Try to snipe the guy in, uh, out of the air. I res Raider. I was running Survivor, Mountaineer, and you know, Double Time and uh, Resolute. Resolute and Double Time go hand in hand. Smoke the box so Raider can buy some stuff without, you know, getting focused on. We know that there's like one guy in the water and then there's one guy like down over here. And that guy just flew in, but he went in the water. Let's go back up, Bo. Let's go back up, Bo. I'm getting looked at from the right, Bo. I'm getting looked at from the right. I noticed that guy looking at me from the right. Sniper glint. Knocked End up getting a good knock on him. Bo gets his finish. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you, thank you. Guys, we're popping off. I got really, really hype here because, you know, I'm just feeling like the teamwork, you know. Raider with a great call out. There two are, like, fighting each other. Raider knocks one. I killed the other. I'm hit it's nice the team right. wipe. Always call out your team wipe, guys. So like you know your teammates know what's going on. Team wipe. Bo ends up I killing that last up. that uh, last guy on that team. Bo There's one guy up. left. Oh He's in the Bo ends He's up throwing die. all of his UAVs up, so we knew where he was at. Spray yeah, him in the back because he's trying to get out, and that's the game. <laughs> Go, guys. We did really, really good in this go. game. I was really, really happy. I think this was like 130 to oh like God. maybe 140 yes. SR game. Yeah, don't go in the tunnel, dummy. Looking over there, I'm like, man, I barely see him, dude. Remember, when you're in plat three lobbies, Yo, you want to get like guy, uh, six to eight kills right off the bat. Like, Otherwise, you're gonna have like a low like SR game. You know, <laughs> you can slow it down <laughs> after you get like ten guy. kills. You know, and play for like position in like top ten. But if you're really trying to get like a lot of SR guys, don't be scared oh, to get aggro and, I, I'm, guys, I'm and buy I'm lots of UAVs. UAVs are gonna help out with that thing. The more you play aggro, the more comfortable you will be with it over time. So this game was played later at night with Keon instead of Raider because Raider had to, you know, go eat dinner. He's one shot, one shot, one shot. Me and Keon ended up wrecking that guy. And then Tim Timmy Tatters ran away. His other teammate ran that way. But he wraps around and tries to challenge me right here through the window. And the only thing I have is a pistol and sniper. So watch this. You guys, we gotta regroup. Start cracking this guy and Bo ends up getting the knock. Huge shout out to Bo for double teaming. Keon still chasing uh, this one guy, but I think he ran away. So like, we try to challenge this guy over here in this building. We both double team him. What's good, brother? These people are peeking out. I catch this guy slipping. I didn't even have my loadout yet. I wanted to push them, but guys, we were, we were, we were, we had our loadout. This guy, I don't know what he was doing. He just came out of nowhere and tried to chow. Thank God I won that gunfight. I kept pre-firing when he went down behind the door because I knew he was going to pop out. I had a feeling about it. Sometimes that strat doesn't work that good though, guys. Mortar, mortar, move, 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 so, move. you know, feel free to try it out, but sometimes people just run into bullets for no reason. They just get two kill thirsty. End up hitting him once. End up knocking this guy. I thought there was a smoke. I was being stupid right there, but I threw a random flash grenade out. This one, this one, right across second window. Like, right here, Cam, this one. I just calmed that guy. I mean, call out to Keon where that guy is at. I think it was like a like two people or a whole team. Boat and me and Keon decide to rotate to the tunnels at factory. We're very very comfortable with factory. Factory is like our stuff, dude. Above us, above us. Ammo, ammo for sure, for sure by ammo. Then we notice they throw their loadout here, so that means their loadout's on the roof. But there's like two teams on the roof, I think, fighting each other. You can go, Bo. You can go. We're following. 
if we decide to stack right here. Stacking is key, guys. In rank. Oh, it's stacked, very, though. very key. I decided to throw some thermites up there. Hit him a little bit, but Bo tells us not to uh, push up there. He's got a different idea. So Bo's going to go to that zip line, and I'm going to go to this zip line. And we're going to go up at the same time. This guy's by the bo behind the box. Keon ends up getting him. Great stairs, double team. Stairs, stairs, right Bo's shooting this guy. This guy knocks Bo, but Keon taps him. I get the finish. W Keon for rezzing. I gave money to Bo. And then we're going to watch him by the box. Honestly, like, don't be scared to go with your teammate to the box after you guys smoke it. You know what I'm saying? So that way you can back him up if, like, some stuff goes down. He misses the fire cell barely. I thought that, like, the fire cell happened right when he got to the box, but he missed it. We're not in right now. We should get in a spot that's in. Honestly, we might take Grandma's house if you want. With you, you yeah, we know. were not in the zone right here. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Okay, okay. You guys, come down Grandma's to this house? alley. Oh, thing, don't right? take Grandma's house. Too many people. I was just, people. you know, trying to figure out where to rotate to next. Hot, though, He's being close right now. Start putting a little bit of pressure on this window. Right here, don't here, mind the bad aim. I'm popping UAV. Both popping the UAV so we can like figure out where everybody's at on the map. You know what I'm saying? Bo, living quarters or bottom of prison? We gotta go now. Uh, gondola. Okay. Yep. Oh, you wanna do bottom of prison? Yeah. Either or, you know what I'm saying? Well, we can take this up and drop if you want. We end up taking the gondola. Right before it Look goes. at prison right now with the UAV. They're all one middle, two left side. So you want to challenge so the middle guy, maybe? I'm going to smoke to the right, and let's poke it over to the stairs. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, follow him, follow him. We decided to follow Bo right here. That was really, really good that Bo said he only had one smoke. Keon ends up throwing another smoke here, so we don't get shot in the back. This smoke was really, really good smoke by Keon. We're all stacked up. We decide to push in the prison. Bo ends up finding one random guy, like running around. He gets a knock. Guys, across looking, across looking, across looking. We knew that they were like spraying across, and like you know, it wasn't gonna work out that good if we chow. So we just smoke, smoke right there, so we can you know figure out what's going on. Now right here we get split up a little bit, me and Keon, but. You know, okay, we me Keon adapt to the situation and we just run back to Bo. It's not good to get split from your teammates like at like top ten guys. You really, really want to be stacked up. So that way you can help your teammate out. We can chill here for a second. Yeah. Make sure pop you your UAV, pop your UAV. So Bo's gonna pop his UAV and we're gonna look at the map and we're gonna figure out where everyone's at. Yep. I got an ammo box. I probably should have put it down and got smokes, but I was trying to hold it for our teammates at like the end. I noticed no one's at control. But remember, people could be running ghosts. Bo puts a PA right above. It wasn't a mortar strike. He gets two kills with it while we're rotating. Great smoke by Keon, I'm pretty sure, or Bo. One of them. I'm not sure who threw that. Then we get pressured from the side, so we can't really hit that that buy box. I wanted to. We probably should have all combined our money together, but it's okay. Got smokes and um, stuff like that for the team. Bo gets all of his kills. Guys, play the building on the right. On the right, that's halfway in. That was a great PA while everybody was supposed to real rotate. Bo saving his portable for when this zone closes in. I got a plate up right here. Oh my God, what the fuck is my, is my guy doing? 
I was freaking out a little bit, but Keon runs out right here. I don't know why Keon ran out right there, dude. I did not want him to get, like, ganged up on, so. I didn't mean to, like, you know, call him that, but, dude, that was just really, really stupid. Like, we're all over here, and he ran out there by himself like Superman. He knows better. So he ends up coming back, and then we, um... We're, we're trying to find these guys, but we don't have a clue where they're at. Our portable radar is doing work because the zone is so little. We put pressure on this guy a little bit. I should have had those shots, hit some, some more of those shots a little bit better. We jump into the little building. I dropped my money there. Grab this self res. That was a great smoke just to confuse them. I know we're blind too, but you know, if they run up on us, we'll try to, you know, handle that fight. So, we pretty much end up sitting in here for a second. But I'm going to decide to take a peek. One's over here by box. What'd you buy? What'd you buy? Can you throw it? PA. PA, PA. He ended up buying a PA. Green building moving. End up getting a knock right here. I thought it was gonna buy UAV, but I don't think we had enough or portable. But it might not might not have been a portable in the box. I, got two. I push this edge, and this guy right beams here, me at the end. But you know, my teammates end up getting the kill. We only had ten kills that game, and I think we only earned like maybe like I don't even know, like maybe 110 SR, or maybe 107 SR, or something like that. A huge, huge shout out to anybody who joined the premiere. <laughs> Guys, don't forget to like the video. I was the worm. Comment the W. I I'd appreciate it very, very much. It would help the video out a lot. Shout out if you watched the whole thing with me, too. I like watching the premieres with you guys and hanging out. I hope all you guys have a good, good weekend. And uh, expect the uh, next breakdown, uh, episode 9, to uh, come out in like a couple days. Ten kills, nine assists. Peace, peace, guys. We all did good. We all, we all did amazing, dude.